Parsha begins, Vaya Ekev Tishmiun. The word Ekev has many interpretations, and sometimes it's hard to see what uh, the connection is between the different interpretations. So one of the interpretations is that Ekev is a word of strength that uh, you will observe what I am telling you and you'll do it akev, with strength, with power. <coughs> Another uh, interpretation of the word akev is from uh, Yaakov Avinu, the Yodo Ochezes Ba'akev Esav Achiv, that it means the heel description of a part of the body of the foot. The third interpretation of Ekev, Okov, is that it's uh, crooked, complicated, not straight. Derech Akev, or in the Torah, the Novi says, Oko Valev, Mi Edoenu. So there, Oko uh, means that it's uh, confused, it's uh, not clear, clouded to know what it is. So it's hard to find what's the common denominator between all of these uh, different interpretations of the same word. And uh, so the Mephorshim spend a uh, great deal of effort in being able to determine that. But Rashi here, uh, in Rashi, uh, the simple pshat, Ekev Tishmun, is like because. It's a, it's a causative uh, word. Because you will listen so then all of these blessings will descend upon you. But then Rashi goes into an understanding of uh, Medrash, and he quotes a Medrash, the mitzvot she'odam dosh ba'akevo, that it refers to the mitzvahs that people step upon with their heel. So, uh, in uh, Rashi's view, in the word Akev, in the Parsha, lies also the word uh, uh, Akev, Okov, of the heel of the foot. And therefore, he says the Torah warns us regarding the fact that there are many times that are, there are important things that people step upon. They're not aware that they're important. And because, therefore, that's the idea of Adam Dosh Ba'akevo. He crushes it with his heel. So that goes to the point in the Ovos, where we were told, have a mitzvah, have a zohir, the mitzvah kalo kive chamura. You should be careful to fulfill what, in your eyes, is a mitzvah kala, an easy mitzvah. So what's an easy mitzvah? So one of the shatim is that's a mitzvah that doesn't cost you money. And a mitzvah chamura is one that uh, there's an expense. So I guess Sergei Lulav would be a mitzvah chamura and shofar would be a mitzvah kala. Except for the balkora, he has to pay for the shofar, but otherwise. So that's one interpretation of kala and chamura. However, uh, there are many mephorshim that don't feel that that really does it. So uh, they say that mitzvah kala is uh, something that... Uh, like it's done without fanfare, without, you know, like if you're wearing tzitzis. So you're wearing tzitzis, big deal. 
So it's a mitzvah kala. But again, let's go to shofar or to to a public mitzvah. So then that's a mitzvah chamura. That's a mitzvah that people take seriously. And because they take it seriously, they are more likely to observe it correctly. So that's why the Mishnah and others comes to tell us that we should not make those judgments. shel mitzvahs. You have no idea about Naschoran. Here does not mean uh, only the reward for mitzvahs. Schoran means the value of mitzvahs. You don't know which mitzvah is more valuable. And therefore Chazal say, mitzvah shebo liyodcho al tach mitzeno. The mitzvah that you can do, don't let it pass. Do it. So maybe people will say, but I'm saving myself for a bigger mitzvah. So uh, that uh, we learn in the Gemara Bo Mitzvah, Oseg be mitzvah potter min mitzvah. So there's a mitzvah, Hashova Saveda. I find something that's identifiable. I can know who the owner is. So there's a mitzvah on me to endeavor to return it to the owner. So let's say if that was a uh, hundred thousand uh, shekel, you know. But you know, if it's a small thing, so then I figure, what well, the guy doesn't need it, he lost it, he doesn't care, etc. I pass it by. And on that, the Torah says, Lo suchali You cannot just pass it by. The mitzvah is there. And not only that, the Gemara says, Kol ha'oseg b'mitzvah poter min mitzvah If you're busy returning this little item, then you're poter from other mitzvahs, because this is the mitzvah you're involved with. So you see that the, the halacha goes out of its way to say, that there's no way to value mitzvahs, no way to judge them one against the other. And so therefore, that's what Rashi means here, mitzvahs yodam dosh ba'akeva, mitzvahs that the person steps upon. He thinks that they're worthless. He treats them but to have no value, either because they are ordinary, or because they happen every day. I mean, that's another point that anything that is regular, you know, is not such a deal. So, like, uh, Shemitah comes once in seven years. Whoa, whoa, so, you know. Or uh, Yom Kippur. Well, if Yom Kippur came, uh, you know, every week, uh, it would lose it because of the fact that it becomes something that we are accustomed to. And that's one of the problems. So that's like one of the problems with film. That's one of the problems with tzitzes. One of the problems with all of the daily mitzvahs that we have is that it, in the words of Chazal again, it's mitzvahs anashim mulmedes. It's habit. It's not the mitzvah anymore. It's habitual. And because it's habitual, then... Uh, the value, so to speak, is decreased. So in the word akev are all of these ideas. How a person should view Torah. So it's akev because, it's akev because it's power, akev because it comes to remove confusion. Akev is because of the fact that people oftentimes take mitzvahs and they tread upon them. They step upon them. And to show that they are of no value. So there was a famous shayla that was brought when they uh, printed the Vilna Shas. So when you print, uh, we print Sidurim, right? Corin prints Sidurim. Uh, 
maybe not your soil, you know, whatever, art school. So on the printing floor, uh, if there's paper that falls down with all the uh, holy writings on it, they have to make tests, they have to make test runs. So does that have a din of Seamus? That's what was asked. It was asked specifically regarding the Vilna Shas. And uh, the Psak Halacha that they had was that it does not. Because uh, unless it's completed perfectly, it does not have, so to speak, any holiness invested in it. But uh, what, in the uh, printing room where the paper was, they put up a sign quoting this mitzvah, this Rashi. Mitzvah shodam dosh va'akeinu. This is the example here of mitzvahs, the whole chumash that's written, the whole gemara that's written. People step on it. So here, stepping on it perhaps was mutter, but the value system of the Torah and the value system of Jewish life you're not allowed to step on mitzvahs.